Right, you guys got another video here for you on everything you need to know about windows power plans now we're going to be going over exactly what these power plans are and what they actually mean to you and what ones you should be using on your computer so first off we have the power plans right here i've got it set to balanced which is recommended for this particular machine but a power plan is a collection of hardware and system settings that manages how your computer uses the power and basically power plans can help save energy or maximize system performance. So let's talk about the balanced power plan. It offers full performance when you need it and saves power uh, when you don't. So this is probably the best power plan for most people. Now, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on these power plans and how important they are. But to me, really, they're not really much difference between all of them. Now, high performance, as it says right there, favors more performance, but uses more energy. So if you're on a laptop, this might not be the best setting for you because obviously it's going to drain the battery a lot quicker, but you will get more power to the CPU and also giving your system a little bit more of a performance boost, really. But how much performance? Not as much as what people actually think. Next up, we've got the hidden feature, which is ultimate performance. Now, you're only going to get this feature on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So bear in mind that this is going to be the ultimate performance. But again, I've not seen much difference between this and high performance. But if you're a gamer, this is the one they're going to tell you to put on because you're going to get ultimate performance and you're going to get loads of FPS, which is simply not true. But it uses a lot more power. Basically, this is going to tell the computer just ignore all of the power saving and just give it maximum power it can. So you're going to get more power cycles with this particular setting. Next up, we've got power saver. This pretty much says it right there. Saves power by reducing PC performance and screen brightness to obviously preserve that precious battery life. If you've got a laptop, obviously, if you're on a PC and you're on one of these economy drives, you might want to use power saver mode. But basically, most people will have it on balanced, and that's what they recommend. But let's do a quick differences test on Power Draw. So, if we do a quick basic test here, I'm using my phone, so I'm not using any resources on the computer by recording the screen. But you can see the actual voltage here is quite low. We're on Power Saver right now, and you can see some of the stats will change as soon as I put it on high performance. You're going to get more voltage going straight to the CPU here. As you can see, it goes right up to 1.3 instantly, and it will be more consistently at that higher level and driving up the core clock of the CPU to make it more faster. And that's basically what it is. It's running that CPU all the time. It won't step down into an idle mode. And if you go into ultimate performance, again, it's just going to give it the maximum power all the time, and it's just going to be running at its optimal uh, speed all the time it's not going to step down especially if you're using a computer quite a bit now a computer under balance mode will obviously step down and go up when it needs to it will draw power that it needs and then step it down into a lower power usage when it's not being used so the high performance and the ultimate performance power plans are just telling the operating system to allow uh, the maximum power to be given to the hardware on that system and some people may think that's a good thing, but you know, at the end of the day, balanced is where I've left mine. You don't see much of a boost in FPS like people think. And again, just put it into a more easier way to understand. Balanced is when you're sort of jogging along and when you need more power, you can sprint. And then the ultimate performance is basically you running, sprinting all the time, flat out, and it's not going to step down and it's just going to give the CPU the ultimate power that it needs to run all the time. It's not going to keep stepping down. And if you don't need all that power all of the time, then why would you want it on ultimate performance? If you're sitting there idle, you don't need your PC running flat out all the time. It just doesn't make sense. Now, how much difference is there between the ultimate performance and balance mode? Well, I've shown you this before. I'm just going to quickly do it for this video so you can actually see and that way you can get an idea of what you can actually expect. Now I'm on balanced mode right now and we'll run a benchmark here at 1080p extreme. There is the actual results. I'll put them side by side in the end of the video so you can see it. I'm going to use exactly the same settings again on ultimate performance. 
I'm going to reboot the system just to make sure that we have ultimate performance set and then we will run that test once more and you can see the results. Now, a lot of people are going to assume that you're going to get what it says on the tin, ultimate performance, where you're going to get massive amounts of uh, boost and frame rates. But really, to be honest, you're not. So let me just reboot the system here and open up uh, the actual application again. And we'll go ahead and make sure this is on ultimate performance, which it is, as I set it and reboot the system. And now we're going to run that benchmark one more time. And then you'll get the two differences between balanced and ultimate performance. Now, of course, this is just a basic test. It's a benchmark, and you should see some difference between the two by just running this test. And there is the results right there after I've run the test. I'll put them side by side so you can actually see. Now, you may be wondering why there isn't a massive difference between ultimate performance and balanced performance. And that's because these power settings are just making micro adjustments to the system. It's not making massive amounts of difference. But the overall score was 11,926 for the balanced and 12,210 for the ultimate. And that's a whopping difference of 284 points. If that really means a lot to you, then by all means, you can make the adjustments in your power plan settings. So for FPS boost, there's nothing to write home about. It's all probably within margin of error, I would say, you know, within five to seven FPS. Nothing too crazy. But you can see the differences there. There is slight differences there. But if that means a lot to you, then by all means, make those changes to your power plan. So where the real difference is going to be made is on the CPU. It increases the CPU speed uh, when the computer needs it and then reduces it when it's not uh, used or necessary. And, and that's under the balance plan. But on the high performance plan, it's just going to give the CPU uh, more speed and it won't be reduced and it will be constant. So really, do you really need to use ultimate plan or high performance? Not really. Modern day computers have a great way of saving power and stepping down when you're idle and you're not needing that power. It will basically step down and preserve battery life on your laptop. And if you're on a desktop, it will just idle a little bit and step down. And when you do need that power, like to render videos or play games, it will give the CPU the power it needs. And that's where uh, the balance plan comes in. Now, people seem to think that they're going to get that little bit more out of it by giving it high performance all the time or ultimate performance. And it's just simply not the case, in my personal opinion. And I've seen many, many times where I've tested it and you just don't get that much more of a performance boost by using it. It just uses more power. And let's face it, you're not using your computer at its most optimal all the time. Sometimes you're sitting there watching a movie or you may be just uh, looking at some emails and that's not using a lot of CPU power. So why have it up on ultimate performance all the time? It just don't make no sense. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you helps you understand what the power plans are. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of these PC power plans.